I almost didn't post this video. Vanity nearly got the better of me. But I'm trying to find ways to make this experience have some sort of positive outcome. And if I can keep one of you folks from having to go through what I've been through, then it's worth it. And by the way, um, I'm not a mouth breather. <laughs> I was humming throughout the time I was changing my bandage. You just can't hear me because of the ambient sound of the gas station. Hi, everybody. Um, I was checked out of the hospital on Friday night, and this is Monday. Um, my insurance ran out. So, I, uh, as those of you who follow my channel know, I've been camping on my property since my house burnt down. And so, I've got to change this bandage today. <laughs> and, uh, I figured I would come up here to the local gas station, the only one in our little town, uh, to have some semblance of clean uh, to be able to do this. And I thought I would take a second to show you what my hand looks like now. Um, it's a little gruesome, to put it mildly. but it needs to be done. It hasn't been changed since Friday, and it's supposed to have been changed every other day uh, since last Monday, last time I saw the surgeon. I'm a little afraid to see it because I have been you know, at the property with all the not good stuff that's been happening around there as far as uh, cleanliness next to a hospital, you know, we're talking, it's pretty bad, um, but um, we're going to take a look and see how it's looking. Hopefully it's not too terrible. not too bad for what it is. Believe me, it could be a lot worse. I've seen it a lot worse. I haven't really shown you guys all the pictures of it. Pretty stiff. Hopefully that's not going to be what it is for the rest of forever. I still have a spot here that seems to be tearing a bit. what's going on. Cat bite, people. Seriously. Don't screw around. You get a cat bite in your joint, you better get to the doctor right away. Because it took me three days to get to the emergency room, and it caused me to lose all the skin on that joint where the cat fang went into the cartilage where my index finger joins my hand. So... Tracing. They gave it to me. The hospital put on here. here. Seems to be having a little issue here.
part of it because I am trying to uh, keep it clear. I can get all of the gauze covered, but still, uh, you know, be able to move my fingers. It's a lot of clean bandage and a lot of antibiotic ointment on there. And, uh, in three days, I go see the surgeon again. And I'm guessing, I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing he's going to take those staples out. But ultimately, we'll have to wait and see. So, um... I hope you're all having a good day, and um, I will check back with you later. Um, there's been a lot of stuff going on, and as you can guess from this, uh, it's been trying uh, it's been trying, and uh, a lot of bad stuff happened while I was gone, because I was the hospital for over a month, and uh, a lot of the kitty cats did not survive, the, the younger ones did not survive, um, the babies that I had found someone to bottle feed for me, um, instead of letting me have the babies back, uh, the woman gave them to a shelter which I'm very sad about and may have to address at a later time. But uh, anyway, that's what's going on, folks. And uh, I'll be back to trying to make happy videos as soon as I possibly can. Uh, take care. Hope everything's going well. I'm going to have some fried okra.